and welcome back to another Bob Blast Studio Tip. Hello, I'm Bob Burridge, and this short studio tip is all about bright colors versus tone it down a bit, Bob, types of colors. And one more good thing, a uh, bonus track, I like to call it the bonus track, is how to avoid mud. Yuck! Mud. Hi, I'm in my studio right now. I'm getting ready to do a new body of work, but before I do a new body of work or a new series, I usually do a whole bunch of color combinations based on either my color wheel or the standard color wheel. And over and over and over again, and basically it's like, how many different ways can I have fun and using the color combinations of the standard color wheel or my color wheel? Ah, uh, the color wheel, it works. I know you all have a color wheel somewhere hiding in your studio, but the reason I'm showing you the color wheel, get it out, get it on the wall, it works. When color comes out of the tube, it's the brightest and strongest and cleanest it will ever be. So the more we keep touching it, it's going to get duller and duller and duller. Let me show you how to uh, add something to the color to make it a little bit duller, but still it's beautiful color. And if you add too much of it, it goes into you know what watch. So if you want to dull down the color, don't add black, it'll just kill the color. But you want to keep that beautiful color, just add a little bit. I mean a little bit of its complementary color. Come on in, let me show you what I mean by that. So here we have red. There's your red. It's a beautiful color. Beautiful, wonderful color. Red. And now we want to tone it down. This is what the color looks like right out of the tube. So what we want to do to turn it down, add just a little bit, just a little bit. Not too much, not too much. And see, it's still nice and beautiful. Red, but not black. And but just by adding its complementary color. Let's go to the yellow. I've added some yellow up in here. Here we go, yellow. This is what it looks like right out of the tube. Now, the complementary color, if you look at your Standard color wheel is a little bit of violet. So I'm adding just a little bit of violet on top of this yellow. It'll still be yellow, but just not so bright. Not so bright. Beautiful color, see? Almost graze it down. Very beautiful color, see? Not as bright. Right out of the two. And now the blue, it's complementary color. Here we have blue. Got some blue in here. Okay. More water <laughs> and a little bit of orange. Just a little bit of orange. Not a whole lot. Of, not a whole lot. Look at that. It's still a beautiful. <laughs> it's pretty nice. A beautiful blue. Not as blue. Toned down. And so again, if you want to tone down a bright, strong color when it comes right out of the tube, just add a little bit very little bit of its complementary color and you still keep the beautiful color but it's toned down. Now let me show you how not to get mud. So this is what I just got finished showing you. Just add a little bit of the complementary color to red, it tones it down. A little bit of complementary color, violet to yellow, tones it down. And the same here with blue, tone it down with a little bit of its complementary color, orange, and it tones it down. Add too much of it too much of it, too much of its complementary color, it turns into kind of like <laughs> caca colors. So before you start to paint, make sure you use a color wheel, whether the standard color wheel, my color wheel, and uh, it'll help you get there quicker. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you've missed any of my previous Bob Blast, go to robertburridge.com. They're all there. Just log on to the archives and there's lots of information there. Hope to see you on the next one.